Hey everyone, it's Evan, and today we're doing a special unboxing. And do you like my shirt? Ooh, T-Mobile celebrating the 20th anniversary of T-Mobile Tuesdays today. Or I guess I should say week anniversary. Anniversary implies an annual year, okay? And that's not what we did. It's just been 20 weeks, okay? But 20 weeks of T-Mobile Tuesdays, you guys. If you don't have T-Mobile, you need to switch over now because that is where it's at. Okay, so let's begin with this box. I have the Fortune Cookie Soap Winter Box that just released. They do a quarterly box. I have yet to do a video on one of these boxes. This is the most recent one that I've got, so let's dig in. So I'm really excited about this box. They actually do like quarterly themed boxes. Each box has a different theme. Normally it's like a popular television or like movie series um, or some sort of like poppy sort of like icony sort of thing. Um, and so this one is through the wardrobe. First thing out of the box on the very top is the little information card. They give you the name of the theme. And then, like, of course, the 2016 winter box, soap box from Fortune Cookie Soap. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I normally cheat and, like, you know, take a little sneak peek and see what's actually in here. But I actually want to look at these products first and give you my first impression before reading through any of this. Um, so let's just take a look at the products, okay? As you can see, this is what the box looks like when you first open it. There's, like, a little loose bow. Um, through, through the wardrobe, I'm guessing this is supposed to be, um, um, Lion, Lion Witch in the Wardrobe, right? Yeah. C.S. Lewis? That's who, who, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. So, um, Father Christmas, this says it's a whipped cream, so that's gonna be one of their lotions. Mmm, that is so nice. That definitely smells Christmassy. It smells like baked goods, like cookies. And kind of like like a pine tree at the same time. That sounds kind of weird. It sounds like a pine tree cookie. But it really kind of does. It's like a Christmas cookie. Um, that smells really nice. Um, next, they always send like an OCD hand sanitizer container. The one that they sent from the like Halloween sort of box um, was really, really nice. It was like this emerald color and it smelled really nice. Um, so this one's like clear with little glitter flecks in it. Um, if y'all know me, glitter's like my favorite color, so yes with the glitter. I'll take as much as I can get. Um, this one's called Always Winter. Mmm, I got some on my nose. This smells really good. So this smells kind of like invigorating to me. Um, it's kind of like a cinnamony sort of smell, um, but I kind of want to say like cranberry too. It's got like a crispness to it, so I I can get down with this. I'm always in need for hand sanitizer, and this smells lovely. Next we have hide and seek. This is a whipped soap, so um, sort of like a cream. So basically, it's um, a creamy texture, creamy consistency. It smells lovely. I want to say this smells like almost like coffee, but at the same time, it smells like like marshmallows and um, I don't know. It just smells really different. I like this. It's such a different smell, and I really like things that smell different. Um, and then we've got their oil perfume. They normally always send an oil perfume. These are amazing. I'm going to bet this one smells like heaven. Oh, yeah. This one almost smells kind of like roses, really. Mmm. That is so nice, you guys. Okay, so... Let's just read this book real quick, because I want to know what these things are actually supposed to smell like, and, because I'm just not good at this, okay? I'm not good at telling you what things smell like, or maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I am. I don't know. Am I? Am I? Am I? So, here's the book. Let's dive into this, okay? Let's just go ahead and do a backtrack and start back where we started. Father Christmas, that was the whipped cream, the sort of hand lotion-y 
stuff. It said, he's come at last. The witch may have kept him out for a long time, but our whipped cream has come at long last. With a chilly blast of winter air blowing through blue juniper bushes, dusted with a frosty snow and hint of ice cupcakes. So I guess that's what I was kind of getting. It was like, um, I think I said cookies and pine, like a pine cookie. Um, so I could see juniper cupcake. Okay, juniper cupcake. My bad, but it still smells amazing. Okay, juniper cupcake. Get on it. That one is awesome. Father Christmas. And then, what do we do? We did Always Winter. This one is at the very top. It says, Always Winter, but never Christmas for those germs. The OCD hand sanitizer will keep the germs frozen away with holiday notes of evergreen fur needles, warm cinnamon, crisp cranberries, apple curls, and cedar wood. So, I was right, I think, on the cinnamon and sort of like the fruity smell. I think I said cranberries, too, maybe. Um, so, this one was, this one's, I was almost on the spot with this one. Um... Yes, I like the way this one smells too. And then we went to hide and seek. So hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five. Are you hiding yet? Seeking marshmallowy whipped soap? Question mark. Chase after the scent of decadent blends of dark covered. I'm sorry, dark chocolate covered espresso beans, allspice, and light coconut oil cream. Who said it was too old? Who said anyone was too old for a game of hide-and-seek to whip to fluffy perfection, use our whip soap as a shaving cream or all-over body wash? So, probably not as a shaving cream for me. Um, body wash, yes. Mmm, definitely coffee. Definitely coffee. Dark covered, dark... Bleh, I can't even talk. Dark chocolate covered espresso beans, okay? And so we've got that going on. Um, next, I think I brought out of the box was the, this calls, this, um, information card. Calls it Lion's Breath Perfume Oil. According to the information card, let's see, does that work any better for you guys? No? Okay, me either. According to the information card, it says, Wrong will be right when this perfume oil comes into sight. Be rejuvenated by the true king himself with fresh and invigorating scents of glistening winter frost and fur needles dripping in the sweet nectar of ripened pomegranates. Your senses will feel alive against every last drop of this perfume oil graces your skin. I definitely get the pomegranate, okay? So I didn't say that. Pomegranate, I get it now. It's really good. I like this. Um, yes on this stuff. I will probably, mm, definitely be ordering a full size of this. Their perfume oils are like, mwah, out of this world. Perfect. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna order a full size of this immediately. Keep in mind, these products they send me are like, little sample sizes. These products do not last long, and the scents and flavors or whatever that they make them, they don't last long. It's a seasonal thing. Once they're gone, they're gone, and they normally don't do the collection again. Um, so, you better get on it. Um, let's see, what do we have next? This is called Deep, Deep Magic. Um, there will be... I need my information card. There's magic deeper still that goes back before the dawn of time. This shampoo bar will restore your hair to life with a rejuvenating blend of rosemary, fresh garden herbs, and revitalizing mint. Even the witch's magic couldn't keep those dead ends for good. Um, so yeah. Sounds like a really herby, um, shampoo bar. I love the way it smells. I can definitely smell the mint. And I love a solid shampoo bar, so I think I'm gonna be really pleased with this as well. I may also order a full size of this product, um, but we'll just see how it goes. And then this says Small Favors Petty Bomb. So this is sort of, I guess, like the bonus. Um, they always do sort of like a little bonus thing. Um, so this is a little petty bomb, little foot bath, um, shaped like a fortune cookie, which is part of the brand. It says, it doesn't take a lot to unwind and relax. Only warm honey and a hint of the professor's tobacco pipe will brighten 
I'm sorry, and a hint of Professor's tobacco pipe brightened by spiced citrus slices. The Petty Bomb will have you thankful for small favors, and that's actually the name of it. Small favors, it's super cute, you guys. It smells really citrusy. I can smell it without even putting it close to my face. So it's like a, I'm guessing like a super concentrated bath bomb for your feet. Um, yeah, that smells really nice. And then we've got Dream of a Dream. This says that Dream of a Dream is a dusting powder. Step out of the shower and into a new world with our brand new dusting powder. A comforting and soothing blend of lavender, vanilla, soft musk, and patchouli. We'll brush your skin with the softness and pleasant dreams. Microfine powders and clays absorb sweat and smooth your skin while the essential oils keep you feeling fresh all day. Um... I don't really use dusting powders. I'm going to try it. I don't like the smell of lavender either, so this may not be my favorite product in the box. Let's give it a whiff. It smells very patchouli y to me. Um, very sort of like, it's got like that earthy kind of like patchouli y smell, if you know what I mean. But it does kind of smell like lavender too. So again, eh, not my favorite. And then finally, last but not least, the main reason why I get this box is because they always do a seasonal fortune cookie that generally you can only get if you get the box because they sell out so quickly. So I get them because I like to have little like seasonal soaps in my bathroom. Um, and I think these are just a really cute soap form, brand, formula, whatever you want to call it. I really like this brand and what they stand for. Yeah. I like it. So, um, this one is called Sweeties, and it's their fortune cookie soap for the season. It says, don't even try to resist the candied sweetness of Turkish delight. With this fortune cookie soap, scented with traditional rose water and toasted pistachios, amaretto, and warm buttery cookies, it will leave you asking the witch for more. Just remember, a little goes a long way. And so, that's really true because normally with their quarterly boxes, I can use the soap throughout the entire quarter until I get my new box. In fact, I just put the Halloween soap out, so I'm probably gonna be using the Halloween soap throughout Christmas, and I'll be using this throughout the new year. We'll just have to see. I'm really excited because I can also smell this one through the packaging, and it smells just like the descriptor reads. It smells very much like warm cookies, um, pistachios, amaretto. Let's see. Yeah, and I would even describe this as Turkish Delight. They could have called this Turkish Delight, and I would have believed it. Sweeties is a good name for it because it does smell like, um, sort of like a sweet treat sort of platter. It's almost like a feast for the senses because there's a lot of notes going on into this particular soap. I love it. This is definitely one um, that you would probably want to try. Go ahead and scoop you one up if you can. Um, again, they are seasonal and limited. Um, and I like to sometimes try and scoop up a couple. So I'm probably going to order, if they have these online, I'm probably going to order like two more so I can put one back. Because um, sometimes when they have really good ones, like this one and this year's Halloween box, I've definitely had to order some of those because those were so cute. Um... But yeah, go ahead and get on this because you're going to want to get one of these. Also, the monthly box itself, I haven't gone over the information with that. The monthly box itself is 19, I'm sorry, it's not monthly, it's quarterly. It's a quarterly box, okay? They give you one during each season. Um, so that's why this one's called the winter box. Like spring and fall and, you know, the seasons. You get, get it seasonally. Um, so every quarter, you get four boxes a year. $19.99 is what they charge. Inside the box, you also get a coupon code, which is worth $10 from their store as well. So if you get something in this box that you really like, you can use the coupon code to order a full-size product, and you won't have to pay the full-size price for it. So that's really good as well. You get like a little template, and then decide what you actually like, and then you can go there and buy what you want. I love that. Um, I like that better than getting points, honestly. So, just go ahead and give me a coupon. I'm probably going to buy something anyways. I don't need your points. I just, yeah. Really like the way that they function. Um, 
I'm going to leave some link information down in the bottom. Go ahead and click it to, you know, click on over to their website. It'll be a little bit easier for you. Um, but yeah, this is a really good subscription box. I've been doing them for over a year now, actually. Um, and I've been really pleased with every box that I've got. The Finding Nemo box. Um, I got the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory box. Um, and I actually did their special release. They do like a Christmas box, like a 30 days of Christmas box. And this year it's Harry Potter, you guys. They're doing a Harry Potter one. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you loved me, then give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we're going to have some more of these coming out. And um, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye.